osteoarthritis with a degenerative condition in the body and osteoarthritis affects many joints not only knee joints it also so whenever you have a synovial joint chances of getting degenerative condition is more and you get degenerative condition leading to osteoarthritis formation low body and that causes and there is a degeneration of the cartilage it is something like this that you have a graying of hairs and as you do grow older and older your uh, the joints also become because of wear tear they become old and they lead to lot of synovitis and lead to pain and that's how we are we are not concerned about how the graying of hair take is going to affect our body but painful joints are definitely affects our activities of daily living so we are very really concerned about it at the same time we want that the the, the, the joint should get all right there should be no pain at all without analgesics because analgesics in the long term it got a bad effect on the body because the degeneration may cause uh, real damage and all those things so osteoarthritis actually multi factorial disease so if there are multiple factors then we must treat the cause also multiple factors what i mean is that a patient lady having uh, reached the menopause after the menopause the chances of getting osteoarthritis are more so you need to treat, treat them with hormonal therapy and a lady who uh, and a person who has grown older and he has had sustained the injury on the knee joint that is called a secondary osteoarthritis that also is the cause of uh, degenerative condition of their joint and many times it is seen that those who are on hormones those who are on uh, long term therapies like uh, your other drugs and all they also cause some degenerative condition early in the stage of their life and uh, of course physical inactivity is one of the reasons why we get degenerative pains so early and so bad that it prevents our daily working so because of all these factors there is a cartilage that cartilage of the joint that gives way and that leads to a uh, painful bony erosion which causes pain and it, it pain is so much sometimes so severe that one is not able to see at night even so that's what we call it the, um, the uh, rest pain and rest pain is a definite indication for surgery now the radiological feature whenever a patient comes to us we always ask for an x ray because when we suspect an osteoarthritis why we ask for an x ray so we want to know the alignment of the joint we want to know the compartment the medial compartment and lateral compartment of the knee joint is which one is compressed and if there is overloading of the joint if the patient is obese that is also one of the causes of uh, osteoarthritis so if patient is obese we have to find out where the load is coming secondly we have must also see the deformity and we always take an x-ray in a standing position so that when the down uh, joint is loaded then we know that um, we must know that what happens to the cartilage what happens to the joint space if it is too much you know, and then another thing that you find in the x-ray is the subluxation of the joint joint gets subluxated causes more strain on the uh, surrounding tissues ligaments and the muscles and leads to very difficult uh, gait and very difficult to walk the pain becomes day by day it becomes worse and worse and at and in the end it starts paining even at night when you go to bed that called as rest pain so management of such condition is divided into two one is to prevent how to prevent also many of the times patients come to us they say kida humko kahi ho na jaye hamari maa ko aisa dard tha ki humko kahi ho na jaye so i just advise them to take balanced diet always keep a balanced diet so that it should contain enough amount of calcium and vitamin d and must also do lot of exercises if you do exercises then the chances of getting painful osteoarthritis will not be there or it will be very mild and i i give an example of an army man who does a lot of exercises all throughout his life during his career so he remains fit even up to the age of 90 But that I don't mean that they don't know about degenerative changes. If you take their X-ray, you will find absolutely asymptomatic, healthy 90-year-old army man who is walking every day about five kilometers. You ask them to take an X-ray of the knee joint, you will find that X-rays do show a lot of degenerative changes. But thing is that they don't have pain. The question again comes. The, an- the answer is this: that if you have done a lot of good physical exercise during your young age. the chances of getting degenerative arthritis will be less painful degenerative 
Now, the, uh, after prevention, you have two types of treatment that is conservative and surgeries. In conservative treatment, again, the first thing that is advisable is physiotherapy. Physiotherapy means you have to strengthen your quadriceps and hamstring muscles and back extensor muscles so that your muscle is, uh, I mean, joint is totally controlled by the uh, muscles and they should have good strength. So, exercise is the most important thing that I have already stressed. Second thing, if it is not relieved, then you supplement with mild or even moderate types of analgesics where you can give them relief. And the safest analgesic which we advise to the patient is paracetamol. And rest of the other analgesics and sets, they do help in the sense that they reduce the inflammation, but actual pain relief comes with paracetamol. So, this, uh, but there is a limited role in the sense that it might cause uh, gastric ulceration or renal damage because of prolonged usage of those analgesics. And third thing which is commonly being used as well for treatment of osteoarthritis is nutraceuticals. Over a period of two, three decades, there are so many nutraceuticals have come into market, starting from glucosamine, chondroitin sulfate, diacetine, and then MSM, and then now undenatured uh, your collagen, all these things, type 2 collagen, these are all the nutraceuticals. But internet literature does not support the all the molecules to be given for osteoarthritis. They always claim that type 1 and type 2 of osteoarthritis may get better with this. And type 1 and type 2 osteoarthritis, when the patients come to us, we usually give them physiotherapy and mild analgesic and of course nutraceuticals. Nutraceuticals commonly the diacetyl and the undenatured uh, collagen is the most effective uh, type of uh, nutraceutical and it, it acts through the interleukin so it is, there is an evidence that it gives reasonably good relief. Now as far as surgeries are concerned, when we see loose bodies in the joints, the best treatment is to be a joint lavage, maybe arthroscopic lavage or open lavage. You just wash off the synovium, all the loose bodies are out and then the synovial fluid is drained out. So patients get relief for a couple of months or years and may not require any surgery at all. But at times, because of deformity of the knee, maybe varus or valgus deformity, you need to go in for ITB or osteotomy. As you correct the alignment of the knee, your joint becomes more stable and becomes more uh, uh, ready for taking the stress of the body and walking. So HTO is another important surgery which is done often to correct the deformity of the knee joint. And of course, finally, if not relieved and patient is getting less pain and patient is able to uh, afford for total knee replacement, I think total knee replacement is the final answer for all the cases of osteoarthritis of the knee. With, with it, the limitation of that is that there should be good bones, bone mass and requires a lot of uh, um, uh, fitness for as far as comorbid conditions are concerned and try to do as late as possible so that we can avoid the next episode. Thank you.